Hello Game of Thrones fans and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lady Fire Snow. Thanks so much for joining me today and don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help grow my channel. Voses Vantes Amazis. Winter is coming. You'll be pleased to know our mutual friend is doing quite well in Lady Sansa's service. Good. One of my better ideas. And it seems the Grand Maester has found his way into a black cell. Well played, my Lord Hand. But should I be worried? Janus Slint, Pycelle. The small council grows smaller every day. The council has a reputation for serving past hands poorly. I don't mean to follow Ned Stark to the grave. Power is a curious thing, my lord. Are you fond of riddles? Why? Am I about to hear one? Three great men sit in a room. A king, a priest, and a rich man. Between them stands a common sellsword. Each great man bids the sellsword kill the other two. Who lives, who dies? Depends on the sellsword. Does it? He has neither crown nor gold, nor favor with the gods. He has a sword, the power of life and death. But if it's swordsmen who rule, why do we pretend kings hold all the power? When Ned Stark lost his head, who was truly responsible? Joffrey, the executioner, or something else? I've decided I don't like riddles. Power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick, a shadow on the wall. And a very small man can cast a very large shadow. He's found at one bastard already. He has the book. The rest will come. And when he knows the truth, what will he do? The gods alone know. The fools tried to kill his son. What's worse? They botched it. The wolf and the lion will bid each other's throats. We will be at war soon, my friend. What good is war now? We're not ready. If one hand can die, why not a second? This hand is not the other. We need time. Karl Drogo will not make his move until his son is born. You know what? Varys. I promise you, it isn't poison. <sighs> why is it no one ever trusts the eunuch? When you look at me, do you see a hero? When I was still a boy, before they cut my balls off with a hot knife, I traveled with a group of actors through the free cities. They taught me that each man has a role to play. The same is true at court. I am the master of whisperers. My role is to be sly, obsequious, and without scruples. I am a good actor, my lord. Tell me something, Varys. Who do you truly serve? The realm, my lord. Someone must. No riddles, no stories. Tell me, what do you want? Peace. I wish we could converse as two honest, intelligent men. I wish we could, too. What do you want? Tell me. If we're going to play, you'll have to start. A thousand blades taken from the hands of Aegon's fallen enemies, forged in the fiery breath of Beleriand the Dread. There aren't a thousand blades. There aren't even two hundred. I've counted. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure you have. And what would you do, my friend, if you found yourself sitting up there? I must be one of the few men in this city who doesn't want to be king. You must be one of the few men in this city who isn't a man. You can do better than that. Must be strange for you, even after all these years. A man from another land, despised by most, feared by all. Am I? That is good to know. Do you lie awake at night fearing my gash? 
But you carry on, whispering in one king's ear and then the next. I admire you. Before I came to power, you favored my brother. All your spies, your little birds. Did they tell you Viserys was cruel, stupid and weak? Talk back to me. You are a horse lord slut, and now you've woken the dragon. I am a Khaleesi of the Dothraki. Would those qualities have made for a good king, in your learned opinion? Until your marriage to Karl Drogo, your grace, I knew nothing about you save your existence and that you were said to be beautiful. His grace has had a change of heart concerning Daenerys Targaryen. Whatever arrangements you made, unmake them at once. I'm afraid those birds have flown. The girl is likely dead already. Who gave the order to kill me? King Robert. Who hired the assassins? Who sent word to Essos to murder Daenerys Targaryen? Your Grace, I did what had to be done. To... to keep yourself alive. If he dislikes one monarch, he conspires to crown the next one. What kind of a servant is that? The kind the realm needs. Incompetence should not be rewarded with blind loyalty. As long as I have my eyes, I'll use them. I wasn't born into a great house. I came from nothing. I was sold as a slave and carved up as an offering. When I was a child, I lived in alleys, gutters, abandoned houses. You wish to know where my true loyalties lie? Not with any king or queen, but with the people. The people who suffer under despots and prosper under just rule. The people whose hearts you aim to win. If you demand blind allegiance, I respect your wishes. Grey Worm can behead me, or your dragons can devour me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne, because I choose you. Because I know the people have no better chance than you. Swear this to me, Varys. If you ever think I'm failing the people, you won't conspire behind my back. You'll look me in the eye as you have done today and you'll tell me how I'm failing them. I swear it, my queen. And I swear this, if you ever betray me, I'll burn you alive. Expect nothing less from the mother of dragons. It's what I told myself when I watched them beg for mercy. I'm not the one doing it. When the pitch of their screams rose higher, I'm not the one doing it. When the hair caught fire and the smell of the burning flesh filled the throne room, I'm not the one doing it. Daenerys is not her father. And she never will be. With the right counsel. A child's faith. Such sweet innocence. And yet they say wisdom oft comes from the mouths of babes. Ah, the children. It's always the innocents who suffer. Oh, Lord Tyrion, come in, come in. I hope we might speak. In confidence. Oh, always in confidence. Before all this nastiness, I was going to tell you the story of how I was cut. You want to hear it still? I don't know. Do I? As a boy, I traveled with a troop of actors through the free cities. One day, in Mir, a certain man made my master an offer too tempting to refuse. He gave me a potion that made me powerless to move or speak, yet did nothing to dull my senses. With a hooked blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in a brazier, 
The flames turned blue, and I heard a voice answer his call. I still dream of that night. Not of the sorcerer, not of his blade. I dream of the voice from the flames. Was it a god, a demon, a conjurer's trick? I don't know. But the sorcerer called, and a voice answered. And ever since that day, I have hated magic and all those who practice it. I had served the sorcerer's purpose. He threw me out of his house to die. I resolved to live, to spite him. I begged. I sold what parts of my body remained to me. I became an excellent thief and soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Step by step, one distasteful task after another, I made my way from the slums of Mir to the small council chamber. I managed to wrap them around something very special. Sorcerer. Hello, my old friend. It's been a long time. Look, little loves. A spider in the garden. One of my subscribers asked me to do a video on Virus, and she says, but there still is that unexplained foreshadowing of why the sorcerer chose specifically Varus to use his parts to bring forth the voice in the blue flames. I think Kenvara explains it well here, the reason he was chosen and his purpose and his role to be the protector of the realm and the people. Daenerys Stormborn is the one who was promised. From the fire, she was reborn to remake the world. Yes. She has freed the slaves from their chains and crucified the masters for I their sins. I will answer injustice with she justice. She did, indeed. Her dragons are fire made flesh. A gift from the Lord of Light. But you heard all of this before, haven't you? On the long bridge of Atlantis. The dragons will purify non-believers by the thousands burning their sins and flesh away. Daenerys has been sent to lead the people against the darkness in this war and in the great war still to come. There is only one war that matters. The Great War. And it is here. But isn't that the whole point of being a fanatic? You're always right. Everything is the Lord's will. Everything is the Lord's will. But men and women make mistakes. Even honest servants of the Lord. And you, an honest servant of the Lord? Why should I trust you to know any more than the priestess who counseled Stannis? Everyone is what they are and where they are for a reason. Terrible things happen for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you wouldn't be here, helping the Lord's Chosen bring his light into the world. Knowledge has made you powerful. But there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night when the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? You heard a voice call out from the flames, do you remember? Should I tell you what the voice said? I don't think we'll ever truly receive an answer to this question. I think it'll be one of those mysteries that stays a mystery in Game of Thrones. But I do think she is correct and this is the reason he was chosen. We serve the same queen. If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. I've done my part. I've brought ice and fire together. 
My time whispering in the ears of kings has come to an end. Oh, I doubt that. Give us common folk one taste of power, we're like the lion who tasted man. Nothing is ever so sweet again. Neither of us is common folk anymore. I did not part on good terms with the King of the North, or his advisor. Why? Because of mistakes I made. Terrible mistakes. I would only be a distraction if I stayed. So where will you go? Volantis. Good. If you don't mind my saying, I don't think you should return to Westeros. I'm not sure you'd be safe here. Oh, I will return, dear Spider. One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country. Just like you. I don't believe this is a foreshadow of Varys' death. Usually the show writers like to say the opposite when they're foreshadowing. Her well-being. Come, come. You surrender rather easily. The acting hand. You're quite good at being hand, you know. John Aaron and Ned Stark were good men. Honorable men. But they disdained the game and those who played. You enjoy the game. I do. Last thing I expected. And you play it well. I'd like to keep playing it. Who's that for? Jon Snow. Did you read it? It's a sealed scroll for the King in the North. What's it say? Nothing good. The Lord of Light wants his enemies burnt. The Drowned God wants them drowned. Why are all the gods such vicious cunts? Where is the god of tits and wine? In the Summer Isles, they worship a fertility goddess with 16 teats. You should sail there immediately. And it's killing me, killing me.